Hello guys, I hope you're having a great day. When the new season started, I had three questions on my mind. Is Ash any good? How bad was the nerf to the L-Star? And of course, when will my new dog stop pooping all around the house? I'm glad to say, two out of three of those questions got answered while I was playing games you're about to witness. And when it comes to the poop, uh... That's a topic beyond us mere mortals. I start a solo queue game as I usually do. I'm used to taking whatever teammates SBMM decides I deserve and doing my best regardless of the fact that we're in a predator lobby and they have yet to reach level 100. But even by my modest standards, something quite weird happened at the start of the game. What are you doing? Looting and talking to chat, what about yourself? I'm gonna jump off cliff. I hope you're only talking about the game and not real life, but okay. And watch you. Pathfinder was so impressed by me that he decided to just jump off a cliff and spectate me for the rest of the match. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. On one side, it was quite the compliment, but on the other, I really needed a teammate. Even if all they do is provide target practice for my enemies, you know, the more shots they take, the less I have to take. After we looted, we headed to the city that always sweats. Fragment was as busy as ever. While I was flirting with death on several occasions, my last remaining teammate, Bangalore, decided to take her out on a date. I guess it's time to clutch up or shut up. Finally, I got back my teammate and looted up. By the way, Pathfinder was still with us, providing commentary and encouragement. I decided to show Bangalore some solidarity and I gave her my car, uh, which left me with a wingman as my secondary. Not my favorite gun, but it is what it is. As we got close to exiting the storm, we heard some movement and expected to meet someone who was trying to gatekeep us. Instead, we saw this. I can only imagine the thoughts going through their heads as they scramble to mount a counteroffensive. Was the Valk cleaning her keyboard? Was she simply waiting for everyone to hook up to her for too long? Or did her dog poop on a carpet like mine? Who knows? Regardless, we took full advantage of the situation and padded our stats. The worst part about big fights like this is that you get a lot of damage but can barely get any kills. Who's going to go and finish those kills, man? We're gonna die. Oh, well. At least we got some kills for my teammate, I guess. With Ash's ultimate, we took what seemed to be the god spot for the final fight. The other teams were quite jealous. This of course resulted in a lot of poking back and forth, but now I was slowly realizing that the Elstar definitely wasn't as good as I remembered it. No matter, we managed to wait out most of the action. We were the final ones to enter the fray, but our opponents just refused to buckle. And then I came up with this 400 IQ play. I just get teleported mid-finishing Loba? I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but I guess hashtag ask respawn. With a win on World's Edge under my belt, I decided to head to Storm Point and see how Ash and the Elstar are going to fare there. I barely know anything about the map, but this seems like quite a hot drop. I hope we're fine. This situation instantly reminded me of the old Sun Tzu quote, if you don't get gun, you need to run. Now that we have some guns, it's time to get some kills, I guess.
it's good to hit shots. It's not a familiar feeling to me at this particular point in time, but you know, write it down. Secret tip, hit your shots to win more. At least lob a clutch tip. Okay, here is the Elstar. Let's see if it's any less disappointing on this map. Where are these guys hiding? Okay, we got this, we got this. There goes Lobo, I hope she doesn't quit instantly. Now that's what we call a clutch. I don't always clutch, but if I do, I will gloat about it. Now, where's my teammate's death box? Here we go. Thank you for waiting, Loba. Where are you going, Valk? Oh, your friends are there? I'm going to come and say hi. Let's go take this high ground. Four squads to go. I'm not sure we're going to win this one. That right behind us? Damn GB and his awesome bubble. What are you doing waiting at that door? Let's get a better position for the next ring, I guess. I hope the Prowlers did more damage to her than I did, because that was disappointing. I'm gonna blame the L-Star, but we all know who's to blame. Shit, now they're going to eat me. Wait, I left this Jimmy at like 20 HP and the Prowlers ate him? Noise. Good job, good job, good job. GG Sloba. Ash is definitely a lot of fun. I do think she's better than Wraith for pubs. The portal is great for pushing in a pinch. The Elstar has definitely taken a big hit. Still, it's a decent gun. Probably down from S tier, maybe to like a high B or low A tier. Try it and see for yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.